Today, we are going to show you how to connect the Septentrio Mosaic X5 receiver to the 0.1 Polaris RTK network. Start by connecting your receiver to your computer and then connecting the receiver to an RTK capable antenna that has a clear and open view of the sky. Once you've done that, you'll want to start the RX Control software available from Septentrio's website. Create a connection to the receiver. In this case, we'll use an existing connection. And now that we've created the connection, we can see that the device is just starting up. Uh, so it doesn't yet have ephemeris data, but that'll just take a second and it'll um, get everything it needs from the satellites. While we're doing that, uh, we can go into the tools menu and launch data link. Data Link is an application also made by Septentrio that allows us to connect different ports on the device to other services. One of those services is going to be an NTRIP client that connects us to the Polaris RTK network. So the first thing we'll do is on the connection one panel, click on the serial button. Yours may say something like TCP client, that's okay. Click on that button and then click on the serial tab and then go ahead and select the connection to your Septentrio device. In our case, we'll use the virtual USB COM1 link and hit OK. You can hit the connect button and that'll now open the connection to the COM port that's on your Mosaic device. In connection two, we're gonna want to configure our NTRIP connection. So go ahead select the NTRIP tab, and then under the host, you wanna type in polaris.point1nav.com. If you're in the EU, you wanna make sure to use polaris-eu.point1nav.com. Then hit the edit button. Make sure that the port is set to 2101, and then select the Polaris stream from the menu. Under the authentication, we're gonna to want to enter the credentials given to us on the Point One website. So navigate with your favorite web browser to the Point One website and create a device. Hit the plus icon in the upper right, and here we'll call this Septentrio. Click on the device, and then we'll see an NTRIP username and password available. We'll go ahead and copy the username, enter that into data link, and then do the same for the password. Hit the OK button, hit OK again, and then hit Connect. Now, you want to make sure that the link 1 is set in the connection 2 panel, and conversely, the link 2 is checked in the connection 1 panel. This makes it so that these two ports are virtually connected and sending data between each other. If we look in the bottom left, we can notice that there's no data currently being set because we still have to do some configuration. Go back to ARC's control. And now we can see that the receiver has a position, but it's not yet using RTK. And that's because we still need to set up the communication. So under the communication menu, we want to go into the output settings and then select NMEA Output. Under the Stream 1 panel, we're going to select USB 1, and then check the GGA, and then set the interval to one second. This is configuring the receiver to output GGA messages at one time per second on the USB 1 interface. Go ahead and hit OK. And then we'll notice in the data link program that data has started to come out of connection one, flow to connection two. This is the GGA data that we just enabled. And then now that that GGA data is going to your enter client, you're receiving corrections back from the point one Polaris network. If we look here now in the ARCS control, we'll notice that our mode has changed to RTK fixed. 
This is the highest degree of accuracy available for all Septentrio modules. And we can see here that the sigma values in north, east, and up are measured in millimeters, in this case, eight millimeters. Congratulations. You've now connected your Septentrio receiver to the 0.1 Polaris RTK service, and you're able to use high precision RTK in your application.